A Chinese mining giant files for an IPO in the USA, and Craig Wright has sued Roger Ver over a YouTube video. Let's start the show. Welcome back to Crypto Global News. Please make sure that you like, share, and also subscribe to the show. Also, we have a brand new website. Jump over to CryptoGNT.com and have a look at all the latest news from the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency. You can find a link to our site in the show notes below. Enjoy today's episode. The U.S. Federal Reserve is expected to cut the target interest rate for the first time since the global financial crisis back in 2008. This move by the Fed could cause a huge rise in the value of Bitcoin. What the Fed will be doing is increasing the supply of U.S. dollars, which diminishes the value of the currency. Because of this, investors will be looking for a new asset class or classes that will remain the same or appreciate in value. Now, since Bitcoin is capped at a maximum supply of 21 million, Bitcoin may in fact turn into what many have wanted it to be, which is a kind of digital gold. Let's keep a close eye on what the move by the Fed does to the value of Bitcoin and commodities in markets more generally. In recent hearings in the U.S. Senate, Senator Mike Crapo from the great state of Idaho said that it would be difficult or impossible to ban Bitcoin in the United States. The senator went on to cite a number of positive aspects of Bitcoin as he chaired the Senate Committee on Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs Cryptocurrency Hearing. If the United States were to decide, and I'm not saying it should, if the United States decided we didn't want cryptocurrency to happen in the United States and tried to ban it, I'm pretty confident we couldn't succeed in doing that because this is a a global tech, a global innovation. What is the next step with regard to the US regulations on cryptocurrency? Just a reminder, we have a brand new website. Jump over to CryptoGNT.com and have a look. We have all the latest news in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency. You can find a link to our site in the show notes below. Now back to today's episode. Britain's financial regulator, the Financial Conduct Authority, has said it will not regulate Bitcoin as part of the recent guidance on crypto assets. The regulatory body issued its finalized policy statement on cryptocurrencies in a document titled PS19-22, Guidance on Crypto Assets, and intends to bring more regulatory clarity to existing types of digital assets. In the document, the FCA considered major cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum as exchange tokens, describing them as types of crypto assets that are usually decentralized and primarily used used as a means of exchange. Let's see if they make similar moves on other digital assets in the near future. The Chinese maker of Bitcoin mining hardware, Canon Creative, is looking to go public in the USA. Canon has already filed the application documents of the Securities and Exchange Commission. The cryptocurrency mining rigs maker is looking to raise approximately $200 million from the IPO. Let's see how this pans out for them after the IPO is launched. Everyone's favorite person in the world of cryptocurrency is Mr. Craig Wright, and he's back in the news, this time because a judge has struck down a liable lawsuit against Roger Ver that was filed by the man who continues to claim that he's actually Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, Mr. Wright alleged that Ver defamed him in a YouTube video that was published in mid-April of 2019, in which Ver denounced Wright's claim being Bitcoin's creator, citing both Wright's international reputation and also Bitcoin's global community. The court found that there was no objective evidence that Wright's reputation in England was harmed. Who knows what Mr. Wright will be in the news for next week. Many thanks for tuning into today's episode. Please make sure that you like, share, and also subscribe to the show. And please remember to go check out our new website at CryptoGNT.com, where you can find the latest news from the world of cryptocurrency. You can find a link to the site in the show notes below. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. Until next time, you take it easy.